this right here, one of the most pathetic things that I have ever seen on television, but at the same time, one of the most entertaining moments from the Oscars in the last 10 years. Like, if they had more things like this, maybe instead of four people watching, they would have eight. So the reason this is pathetic is that uh, Will Smith went to an event where a professional comedian was going to roast actors. And if he couldn't handle that, then why was he at the event to begin with? So his decision is to initiate violence towards the comedian. And goes and sucker slaps the guy, right? Doesn't even manage to hit him. Slaps the suit. And this is like the first time I have ever seen in my life when the person initiating the violence, like the one that actually slaps, is crying. Like after this, Chris Rock was laughing, Will Smith was crying. I, I have never seen anything like it before, right? Like in real life, if someone hits another person, usually it's the person getting hit that cries, not the other way around. So very pathetic all around. But what's even more pathetic is the overreaction from people. I mean, okay, in a normal world, Will Smith would have been escorted out by security. He would get a ban and that's it. But no, instead we talk about like, oh, the toxic masculinity. Oh, it's so dangerous. Oh, the modern implications of culture in America. Like, dude, I'm not the one slapping comedians. Why are you lecturing me for? Like, I agree, but, like, why do I keep getting articles about, like, how, how dangerous it is and, the, you know, the, the state of masculinity? Just shut the fuck up. All right? The state of masculinity, from my point of view, is not to slap comedians. But now we actually get to the point where the Oscar is going to have a crisis team. What the fuck is that? Like? Okay, so if you had the crisis team, like, what would they be? Like, uh, ninjas from Naruto, like, from the Anbu team that, that would have jutsu in? Uh, maybe a Terminator that goes back into the past and slaps the slap from happening. And, and listen to this. Like, this is the from Time Magazine. Like, who wrote this shit? We will be prepared for anything that we may not anticipate. Please tell me how you're going to do that. There must be some high-level California wisdom, right? Like, is the experts telling you to say this? How can you prepare for something that you do not anticipate? It's like, what if the aliens are coming? Well, we need to prepare for that because we wouldn't anticipate. Oh, shit, now we anticipated it. So, the first of all, like a crisis team. Dude, you're at a private event, right? In the Oscars. Don't you have this thing called security? I'm pretty sure you have this thing called security. Like, if a beggar just walks in, I'm pretty sure you'll find a way to escort him out of the premise without a crisis team. If a homeless person walks in while Will Smith gives a speech about uh, minorities and stuff like that, eh? I'm pretty sure, like, security is there. That's all you need. You don't need a crisis team. But I guess it's the exaggeration, right, to use the word, like, crisis. Not, not to mention, this was the most entertaining thing in the Oscars, as I said. Like, uh, you should have a team that, that helps make more of these things happen, right? Like, no one got hurt except Chris Rock's suit and, I guess, like, Will Smith's ego. But I don't know that. I, I would actually watch it. You know, like, have it rehearsed. Like, don't, don't do it for real. Just, just, like, pretend. Make pretend like a reality show. You'll get more people watching and you'll thank me. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.